Praise the Lord. My name is Amaslikache. They call me Maskache. I really love Jesus. Jesus is my savior. I'm happy to be in his house. And I'm happy to speak about Jesus. Today I would like to tell something about who is taking the anointing of God in your life. Who is taking the anointing of God in your life? Some people, they are anointed by God himself. But now, they are zero. Because somebody has, has made them to destroy the anointing of God in their life. One thing, before I go far away, you must know one thing in your life. When you have the anointing of God, you have God's protection. And when you lose the anointing of God, then you have no more protection. Demons will have power in your life. Evil spirits will have power in your life. Enemies will have power in your life. That is the thing you must understand. You have to protect the anointing of God in your life. You have to protect the anointing of God in your life. When the anointing of God is no more in your life, then you have no more security. You have no more security. And today I have come to tell you, don't you play with the anointing God has given to you. Don't misuse the anointing. I have come to tell you that when the Lord God is not happy with you, the anointing will be taken away. And when the anointing of God is, is taken away, you are going to lose the God's protection. When we look in the Bible, we found Samson and Delilah. We found that Samson was an anointed man of God. He had all the powers. He had all the powers. But after the anointing of God was taken away from him, he was powerless. He could not more destroy the Philistines. He could not more do anything. He had no more power. He had no more power. And before I read the Bible, before I speak too much about the anointing of God, I want to tell you that there is a reason for you to have the anointing of God. There is a reason behind. And when you have the anointing of God, demons that are there watching you, they want to destroy the anointing. Evil spirits are there watching you, they want to destroy the anointing. Witches and wizards, they are there watching you, they want to destroy the anointing. So, it's your question. You must have a lot of questions. Where am I anointed to? What has God uh, created me to do in this world? What am I supposed to do in this world? You must ask yourself. Am I a preacher? Am I a singer? Am I a counselor? Am I a prayer warrior? Where did God anointed you? In which part of your life God has anointed you? You have to think about this. And you must know that when you have the anointing of God, whatever you do, there will be power back of you supporting the ministry of God in your life. No matter how it will be, there will be power of God himself fighting back of you, supporting you, whatever you will do. 
Many people, they don't know. They know that they are anointed of God. They know that they can do miracles. They know that they can do a lot of things. But at the end, they become zero because they misused the anointing of God and God was not up with them and the anointing was taken away. When the anointing of God has been taken away, demons will fight with you 24 hours because they have the power. When the anointing of God is taken away, 24 hours, evil spirits will fight with you because they have the power. When the anointing of God is taken away from you, if, uh, the enemies, they are going to succeed because they have the power. You will not have power to destroy demons again. You will not have power to destroy the plan of the enemy. You will not have power to destroy the evil spirits. You will, no, you will not have any power. You will not have any power. You must think a lot. Who is my friend? You have to think about this. Is this my friend helping me to know Jesus? Is this my friend helping me to finish my race? To see Jesus or oh, is this my friend helping me to destroy the anointing of God in my life you must think a lot you must think is this my husband helping me to to finish my race or to do the will of God or is this husband looking ways and means to destroy the anointing of God in my life you must also think, is this wife I have? Is this wife helping me to finish my race? Or is this wife only here to destroy the anointing of God in my life? You have to think about that. When we read about Samson, Samson was a man of God. Samson was anointed. But because of the love, the anointing of God went away. And Samson didn't have power again. At the end, Samson died. At the end, Samson died. Because the power of God was taken away. You know what? The, the evil spirits or the demons or the, the enemies, they are not going to look somebody who is your enemy. To take out the anointing of God. They are going to use somebody who you can, you can uh, become a friend. Or you can make love with. Or you can marry. Or you can make sex with. They are going to look somebody that you can trust. And after trusting, you will speak all the things of God. I have come to tell you that. You must. From today, you must think twice. I was a lady. Demons could not defeat me. I was a lady. Evil spirits could not defeat me. I was a lady. The plans of my enemies could not defeat me. Where am I now? Why the demons are succeeding? Why evil spirits are succeeding? Why enemies are succeeding? There must be another power behind. Somewhere you are anointing. You are, the anointing of God is somewhere. Is being. Is shaken somewhere. Is not any more strong than before. Maybe you have been always in the church praying. No more in the church. Maybe you have been always reading the Bible. No more reading the Bible. Maybe you have been always singing, no more singing. The anointing of God, it has no more power. Some people, they are thinking that the anointing of God can go away because of sin. No, sometimes it goes away because 
uh, God has anointed you to do something and you don't do it. So the Lord God is taking the anointing away. He's taking the anointing away. And when he's taking the anointing away, you have no more power, you have no more security. You start thinking, what did I do? Which sin did I do? Can I go for, for, for my knees to pray for forgiveness? No. Sometimes, yes, you have given the chance for the demons and all to take whatever you have. Sometimes, you have decided to go to your lab. Uh, in English, you have decided to go to holiday. So, you don't, you don't want anymore to do the will of God. The part for Samson, it is another part. And there is also another part that takes out of our anointing. The part of relaxing, no more doing the will of God. And when we go to the side of Samson, we see that uh, we see that Samson was really anointed by God, but the the enemy used somebody that he can be always watching, watching Samson and making all the things to Samson so that Samson can trust. Whom do you trust in your life that you can speak all the things you want to speak about God? Whom do you trust? Whom do you trust? Sometimes we pray 24 hours. Nothing is working. And before you have been praying only one hour. And miracles were happening. Where is this God? Who could answer you when you pray 30 minutes? Where is this God? Sometimes we must think twice. Sometimes we must know that when we respect the anointing of God in our lives, the Lord God is going to respect us. And when the, 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 the mighty God is respecting us, there will be God's protection in our life. It doesn't matter how many soldiers will come, demons and all will be sent in your life. It doesn't matter. When God is with you, the protection is so strong. But when the anointing of God is not with you, they are going to succeed. They are going to succeed. They are going to succeed. Let's read the Bible. I always watch my minutes. <laughs> Let's read the Bible. After reading the Bible, we will know about Samson. We will know about Samson. And when we know about Samson, then we will know that we must protect the anointing of God in our life. And if we don't want to protect the anointing of God in our life, then we must be ready to die. We must be ready to suffer. We must be ready to have nightmare 24 hours. We must be ready to have attacks in the dream 24 hours. But when we respect the anointing of God, also the attacks will reduce, also the 24 hours nightmare will reduce. Because there is God's anointing, uh, 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 there is God's power in your life. They will say, today we are going to kill him. But that day that they will not kill you because their plan will be cancelled. Let's read the Bible and we can know more about Samson. And after knowing more about Samson, then we will know that it's important to protect the anointing of God in your life. Don't you think of having a lot of cars? Don't you think of having wonderful uh, houses? Don't you think of having beauty or, or water and whatever and whatever great things in your life, modern things in your life? Think of what you have been anointed of. What have you been anointed of? God wants you to do that thing. God doesn't, our God doesn't want to know if you will have a wonderful house. He doesn't want to know if you will have a wonderful car. 
Our God wants you to, to fill the kingdom of heaven. Our God wants you to do his will. If it's a wonderful car, it will come. If it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful building, it will come. But the first thing, you must respect his anointing. You must respect his anointing. If not, the anointing will be taken out and you are going to die on the hands of your enemies. You are going to die on the hands of your enemies. Let's pray in uh, let's read the Bible in the book of Judges, chapter 16. Let's start from the uh, let's start from verse 10. And Delilah said to Samson, Behold, behold, you have mocked me and told me lies. Please tell me how you might be bound. And he said to her, If they bind me with new ropes that have not been used. Then I shall become weak and be like any other man. You see, Samson told Delilah, Yes, when they bind me with the rope, I will become weak and I will be like another man. You, you see, you see, you are born to be special and you are born to do special things in this world. So Samson was not a normal man. He was a man with special things in, in the world to do special things of the Lord. So he told Dalila that uh, when they do for me this, or you do for me this, I will become like a normal man. Yeah, when people, they could look at the eyes of Samson, they could see Samson. But Samson was not Samson. Inside the Samson, there was anointing of God. And because there was anointing of God inside the Samson, Samson was not a normal man. You are not a normal lady. You are not a normal man because you have the anointing of God. You are the things you are supposed to do, you must do things extra. You must do things that they are beyond the normal man. You must, you must do things that they are beyond the normal ladies or woman. Yeah? Are we together? Hmm? He told, he, he told the lady, Yes, when they do this, I will become a normal man. So, Delilah could see Samson a normal man. That's why he wanted to, to, to love Samson and he, he knew Samson was a normal man like a Dana man. But inside the Samson was not a Samson. There was something God has put inside the Samson. Are we together? Okay, let's continue. So Delilah took new ropes and bound him with them and said to him, the Philistines are upon you. Samson and the men lied, wait, he, uh, wait, were in, in a chamber. But the snaps were ropes off his arms like a thread. And the leader said to Samson, Until now you have mocked me and told me lies. Tell me how you might be bound. And he said to her, If you weave the seven locks of my head with the waves and make it tied with the pin, then I shall become weak and be like any other man. So, while he slept, Delilah took the seven. You know, the Bible says that, So, when he slept, Delilah took the seven locks of his head and moved them into the web. You know why? The enemy cannot come when you are awake. The enemy always comes when you are sleeping. You must know, Delilah and Samson, they, are, they, they have been... Uh, a, a wife and a, 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 I can say a wife and a, a, a man. They could make sex together. But Delilah could do nothing till Samson sleeps. So the enemy doesn't come when you are awake. The enemy comes when you sleep. This is the reason many people they have attacks in the dream and they have all nightmare when they sleep. That's why we call it nightmare, because it comes in the night when you sleep, oh. So, when the, when, a, when the anointing of God is not working, also the enemy have power. 
But when the anointing of God is working, the enemy has no has no more power. Okay. And she made them tight with the pin and said to him, Then flee stands upon you, Samson. But he awoke from his sleep and pulled away the pin, the loom, and the whip. And he said to him, How can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me three times, and you have not told me the truth. And when he pressed him as hard with her words after day, and asked him, his soul was vexed to death. And he told her all his mind and said to her, A razor has never been on my head. If I be shaved, then my Satan will leave me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. When Delil, when Delil saw that he had told all his mind, she went, uh, she sent and called the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come upon these ones, for they have told me all his mind. Then the lords of Philistines came up to her and brought the money to their hands. She made him to sleep again and to kneel his, uh, his knees and she called a man and had him shaved off the seven locks of his head. Then he began to torment him and his threaten left him. And she said, the Philistines are upon you, Samson. And he woke up from sleep and said, I will go out at the other times and shake uh, any uh, myself and he did not know that the lord had left him the bible says and he did not know that the lord has left him after telling delilah all the things and after delilah used the razor razor blade and he destroys all the things the bible says that Samson didn't know if the Lord has left him. The Bible says Delilah um, made Samson to sleep. And, and after, and during that sleep, uh, Delilah did all the things to destroy the anointing of God in the life of Samson. I have to tell you today, who is your friend? You must think twice. Who is your wife? You must think twice. Who is your husband? You must think twice. Who is your mama? You must have a question mark. Who, who surrounds you? The enemy is not about the beauty of the, of, uh, the enemy is not about your beauty. It's about the anointing of God in your, inside your life. The enemy is not about your, your face that you look wonderful or you look handsome man. No, the enemy is about what you have carried. He wants to destroy the anointing of God in your life. This is the reason the Lord God wants to tell me, uh, wants to, uh, I tell you that uh, you must always think who is surrounding me? Who is my friend? Who is my family member? Who is my wife? Who is my husband? Are these all people wanting to destroy the anointing of God in my life? When if Samson could not love Delilah, if Samson could not have spoken all the things to Delilah, so, the anointing of God could remain with Samson. But the question, the problem was, he tried three times, Samson, not to speak the truth. He tried. But at the end, he spoke the truth. The enemy will not come once and because you, 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 uh, he didn't succeed or she didn't succeed, he's going to left you. No. The enemy will try once. The enemy will try second. The enemy can try even ten times to destroy the anointing of God in you. But when you are strong, just tell God to give you other eyes, spiritual eyes, so that you can see who is speaking with you. Is this uh, an enemy in your life? 
Oh, is this somebody who has come to, to help you to see Jesus? Oh, is this somebody has come today to destroy the anointing of God in you? You must know from today. You have to protect the anointing of God in your life. If Samson could not have spoken about his strongness, Samson could not die. Samson could not die. But he, he, he thought that the lady was the best lady in his life. And he tried first time, second time, third time to lie. But because the love was too strong, Samson had to speak the truth. And instead of the truth to make him free, the truth destroyed his anointing. Yes, we can speak. We can do all the things we want. We can have fun with the family members. Also, sometimes you must look on your family member. Who is my Delilah in this family? You must look. You can also look in the church, you always go. Who is my Delilah in this church? You can look with the people you speak every day with. Who is my Delilah? Yeah, you can also look the people around you in the job. Who is my Delilah? You have to think a lot. You must know, when you are anointed, one thing, when you are anointed, you will have strong power. But when you are not anointed anymore, then they say that you will be a person like a, I can say you, be, you will become more, 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 you will become worse. Sometimes even I can say that you are going to die like Samson. You are going to die like Samson because when you have the anointing of God, the Lord God will give you directions. Wherever you go, there will be direction you will not do things as you like the holy ghost is going to help you the holy ghost is going to direct you the holy ghost will tell you where, where you, you 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 want to go there is abcd don't go there but when you don't have the god's protection then there will be a problem in your life and when you force things out of the anointing of god in your life then who is going to protect you the word of God today says that Samson had to die. After all, Samson had to die. So, you must know one thing that even though you walk, you say, I am a man of God. I am a woman of God. I do a lot of miracles. Yeah, it's okay. You do a lot of miracles. It's okay. But when... You don't want to leave what you, you are doing to make it. You, 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 you are not of God, you are anointed man of God. You don't want to leave sin. You, are, you do a lot of nonsense. You do a lot of things that people, they have question mark in your life. Yes, you can do all, you can do all, you can do all, you can do all. But one day, the Lord God also, the Bible says, uh, Samson wanted to know if God was with him. But God was not with him. So, my, my minutes are over. I cannot speak too much. I would like to speak more about the anointing of God. But I only tell you that. Take the anointing of God seriously. Protect the anointing of God. Don't let people to misuse the anointing of God in your life. Because when the anointing of God is taken away from you, you will not have any more protection in your life. Now you have protection of God in your life because the anointing of God is working. But when it's not anymore there, it will, you will lose the power and the enemies will have the chance to finish your life and to destroy your ministry. I pray to you, to think about Samson and Delilah and you continue with the work of God. Thank you. I love you. I'm Maskache. I love Jesus. Bye-bye.